This video is going to be a quick comparison between two popular glues. First, we have Gorilla Glue Super Glue, which is a uh, 20, uh, sorry, 12 gram, 10 second super glue. Uh, it has a brush attachment at the top. Another glue that is often confused with is Gorilla Glue Super Glue in the gel form, also 10 second. Uh, this one has a no run formula, so it's like uh, it's thicker. This is 20 grams instead of 12 grams. So very easy to confuse the two. I've definitely tried to buy one and then accidentally grab the other. And they are not exactly interchangeable, but they have a lot of similarities. So I want to do a quick comparison between the two. If you are interested, here is the packaging. I'll keep it quick so you could pause it and just see any differences. Normal super glue from Gorilla. It has the brush or nozzle end, brush end, nozzle end. Uh, 10 second, also impact tough. So on paper, these are all the same. Smaller bottle, 12 grams, not 20 grams. It doesn't say what it's good for. Uh, on the back, again, this, if you wanna get the whole thing, just pause it and you could see all the details. Instructions are basically the similar, similar, you wanna shake them and then apply them. The uh, main complication is that the standard super glue, you could unscrew it to get the brush or you can unscrew the top to get the nozzle. I have some scrap material here that I'll be gluing with. I put on some hand protection, which this is pretty strong stuff. One caveat for both of these, and I meant to point this out earlier, neither are recommended for polyethylene or polypropylene plastics, it says it. First, we will look at the super glue gel. Make sure you give it a good shake. We'll remove this green cap and we could see, so we'll just do a drop, a drop per square inch. That's it, nice, quite thick gel formula. We'll do a metal bond here. So I will just apply it with this, with some pressure on this. And it says to hold it for 10 to 45 seconds, then 24 hours for, for a full cure. Okay, so the super glue brush and nozzle, so non-gel form, give it a shake. This one you also wanna tap a few times. And this one you wanna be careful how you open it because if you open it at the top, you will get the nozzle. If you open it here, you will get the brush. When you get the brush, a lot of that glue can come out. So you wanna be careful how you use it. And the glue is coating the whole yellow bit there. So it's easy to, uh, it's too thick to splash around, but you could definitely get it some places you don't wanna get it. Put that there, let that one cure. Okay, so it's a little bit more than 24 hours later and the Glue should be fully cured, and I want to do a quick, not super scientific test of the glue strength of each. Again, got the gel on the left and the super glue on the right, and let's do a quick demonstration of which is strongest. First of all, the glue does, does work. No problem there. So it definitely glued. Don't have any issues with that. Now I'm gonna do a quick tear strength and see which one holds better. Hmm, no problem there. Again, no problem. This glue is very secure. And even though it's just a single dab, as per the recommendation, just a single drop in a square inch, there are no issues there. And it didn't completely saturate the wood. It did stick like up enough in the wood or on top of the wood that it could grab the aluminum can. Now I'm gonna test out the strength. Not that bad. I would say that would be about maybe six, seven pounds, maybe eight pounds of, of uh, pressure. Ooh, that is a lot more. And uh, this one was definitely stronger. I did use more glue and it was along a strip there because the super glue is thinner so you could spread it out more. Uh, but this one's a lot, lot stronger on the super glue side. So 
just in quick testing, I'll say they both really work, but for metal to wood, I would recommend the super glue brush and nozzle system. Uh, really did have a great contact there, but they both work. They're both good glues. And uh, I guess in summary, I'll say the super glue gel is really good for applications where say uh, you're playing at something vertical and you're worried about dripping and you could use the extra thickness. The standard super glue is good for flat surfaces where you don't have to worry about it running. It's also good where you want to cover more surface area with less glue somewhere like a, uh, a metal bond where it's not going to saturate the metal. So you want to have less glue, more spread out. Uh, that's where you would use the super glue. So quick comparison of the two Gorilla Glues.